YouTube, what's going on? Salute for Salute for Kicks back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button. So you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And you too can be a part of the Mighty Four Kicks Brigade. You know, ladies, I, I, I empathize with y'all. When I used to hear the jokes about women, you know, they get home and they remove their, and uh, they let out a big sigh. This is, this is like doing that, I suppose. You know, your, your, your face bra, taking off your face Bruh. bra. Man. Now, I'm about to sell one of my more, well, two of them actually, two of my more um, valued sneakers, if you will. Hey, Solution, have you uh, ever mixed up a shoe? You no, know, I got a little system for that where I'm not doing. I, it's almost impossible for me to do it unless uh, I'm just not paying attention. All right, so I dropped that one off already and um, got the shipping receipt. I just shot a message. Low insurance, y'all. You get older, you appreciate all that speed and all that junk. Try and be cool. Nobody's paying attention to you, dude. Okay? Just get where you need to go safely. Nobody's paying attention to all your skirt peeling out and all that. When you get a little older and a little wiser, you understand that no one cares. You're doing all that so people can pay attention to you. No one cares, okay? All right, y'all, so got off the second box. Um, we, we're not gonna make any uh, illegal substance references in here. We don't do that. Oh, why do sneakerheads talk like they're selling dope? You know, gotta get these packs off. Stop it. Stop it. These are sneakers, not drugs, okay? Packs y'all should be picking up as top ramen. Don't glorify that life, y'all. Trust me. It's, don't make you hard, don't make you tough or none of that. Stop listening to these dumb rappers. Mm -hmm. It's not as uh, glorious as you think it is. But yeah, I don't know why people think um, <clears throat> when you, you're you selling stuff online, you're desperate, okay? Anything will do, all right? Yeah, yeah man, you know, he's he going for 75, but uh, you can give me 20. But anyway, um, I'm gonna head in here so we can uh, get to this video, y'all. Should I do the video like this? <laughs> what I'm doing, I'm actually uh, counter trolling somebody who um, said I was like 55 talking about sneaker beef. And I was like, when do I talk about sneaker beef? All right, so you, you get trolls out there. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. This is, you know, I'll, I'll let that be. Yeah, the trolls. Sometimes, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you know, handle business and stuff like that. But that was funny. The, the thing, um, I probably need to do a video on ageism, okay? How uh, there's a part of the sneaker culture who feel like you're too old to be doing something. And it, it kind of comes over from rap music. There's a, a generation that thinks like once you reach a certain age, you shouldn't be rapping anymore. That is the most ignorant and stupid thing we ever come across because no one says that about rock musicians. No one says it about jazz. No one says about R&B. Like, why are they still making music? I don't know what it is about the younger generation that think they don't get old, all right? You want to make it to my age. Trust me, all right? Trust me, I have a very unique story. You want to make it to my age. So harping on your your teens and your 20s, like, <coughs> you're never going to get old. Just stop. <coughs> mm. Mm. <clears throat> but yeah. We're back at the house. Actually, I've been back at the house since yesterday evening. And, um, <clears throat> man, hold on. All right, we're back in the stock room, as uh, BX Raise Me likes to call my setup and everything. So we're back in the stock room, y'all. And uh, as you can see, I did cop something. Um, 
I, I did publicly say I was not really up on this particular sneaker. I was like, oh, yeah, it's cool. If I get it, I get it. But I was able to obtain it for the low. And um, shout out to coupons and stuff like that. I was shocked they let me use those and um, drive the price down <clears throat> to um, something I was okay with paying. So what did I cop? There's actually two sneakers in this bag. So we're going to get to the first sneaker first. Well, actually, we're not going to use, we're not going to show this one, okay? Because I'm going to do another video now. I'm, I'm going to milk the footage. But I didn't buy them at the same time. So you know what this is. Everyone's done reviews on it. But like I always say, hey, the solution, you haven't done a review on it. So we want to hear from your perspective. The Jordan 12. All right, I don't know what the street name for it is, but it's, it's very UNC-esque based. I do like the color blocking. Um, of course, you got people saying, man, they should have just released that sneaker. Some of y'all talk to be talking. You know that? And you know the controversy on the video sell. But new stuff is new stuff. I'm cool with that. If I like the color blocking, I don't care if it is a not quite, it's not quite the OG. I'm like, oh, that's a cool option, all right? Until I get the OG sneaker. But the Stone Blue Legend Blue, apparently there's an Obsidian Jordan 12 or something to give you the nice card in there, all right? The beauty of perfection face perfection. Indigo's Amano always dies when you use the textile diamond frame. The oldest known fabric dye Indigo dates back to more than 6,000 years ago. No two pieces alike. We embrace these differences with time and use to definitely date Indigo reveal a look that's unique to you. So, this is not that sneaker, everyone. If you know about Jordan 12s, you know from time to time, they like to do things to the sneaker. Especially with the um, Chinese New Year iterations that they do. You can kind of cut away and you'll see, um, you know, different stuff. Let's get the sneaker up high. Um, shout out to McFly, KOF. He, um, I, I jacked the turntable thing from him. All right. So, yeah. I, I'm a DJ. You know, I had to do that. But anyway, it's a lazy Susan. But anyway, back to these. So over time, this blue will fade away and, you know, reveal something to you and all that good stuff. Uh, shout out to the people who are going to buy two pairs to be curious and see what's under here. Me, I actually like the sneaker like this. When I see black and kind of a navy-ish, bluish, that lets me know I'm going to wear the linen snots out of these because of denim. Simply put, blue denim. By this acid stone wash light dark rinse is going to work you can't really mess the sneaker up style wise um a navy blue or a very dark blue or even uh kind of this almost uh usc blue ish that's in here it's a it's, it's a very um tar heel -ish sneaker by the way and that's what i liked about it i, I really like the car the uh, tar heel colorways that are out there um i wish i could get my hands on some of those usc pe's this is a dope sneaker, y'all. I, I like it. Um, kind of sort of the GR. Perhaps, maybe. Who cares? All right? You like the sneaker, you buy it. Uh, people who complain about GRs and stuff like that are, well, um, you just want to sell the shoe. You know, you know the name for them. But if it's on the shelf, it's dope. It works with what's in my closet. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to wear it. Remember, it's not about how limited your sneakers are. And some, I forgot, was it Bobby Sneakers World? Yeah, Bobby. Bobby said it. He echoed something I said for a long time. It does not matter how limited your sneakers are if you can't dress. But that's neither here nor there. All right, this is a dope sneaker. I like it. Um, 12s and white soles. A lot of us don't like this because we know once this gets nasty, it's over. All right, and I was kind of on the fence about it, but I liked this so much. All right, what was funny, um, <laughs> you young cats kill me. There was a gentleman, and um, I think he got his pair from Champs or something like that, and uh, he put them on while he was in the store, and he was doing the, the penguin walk thing so he wouldn't crease his sneakers. Put some force fields in them or whatever it is to keep them from creasing and keep it moving. You out here walking crazy and everything. Come on, man. You know, in that case, yeah. You, 
might not have wanted. To. They're going to crease eventually if you don't protect them. I wear force fields in my sneakers. So this is a dope pickup for me. I, I really like these. Um, once I got to look at them, um, <clears throat> the next 12 I'm going after is the uh, black and purple, obviously. I'm from Baltimore. All right, Ravens fan, I gotta get those. Then after that, I believe the reverse flu games are coming out. I don't own the flu games. I always like those. That's a dope uh, colorway. It's hard to mess up a red sneaker. It really is. Um, yeah, but it's really hard to mess up a red. And I want those. So those are the, the next 12s I wanted. I also I want the yellow and black ones. Whatever. All right, I got 13s of the yellow and black. Carmelo's, Carmelo's from Baltimore. So that colorway got a pass. But let me know if you got these. Let me know how you feel about them. Um, hype beast we talk about is a GR. Don't answer, don't comment, don't reply. There's other channels that you can talk about and uh, discuss the purchasing of general release sneakers and the L's that you're taking because you're chasing that for limited sneakers. If you overpay a reseller, there's platforms for that. Um, this particular video is not about if it was available, okay? And like I said, this is a limited GR. This was um, something that it was a lot of them, but it wasn't a whole lot. Because some stores had them and some stores didn't. Um, they just got different quantities in. So dope sneaker. What was odd is um, this Foot Lock was closed in my city and nobody seems to know, all right? They, they're keeping it under wraps for some reason. I'm curious about that. But anyway, I'm out here. Comment, like, subscribe, tap that notification button. And remember, it's not about how much you pay for the sneaker. It's why you pay that much. I'm out here. Boom.